Hello, calculus students. In this problem, we're going to um, determine how fast a distance changes with respect to an angle. So, since our distance is measured in feet um, and our angle will be measured in radians, uh, our units at the end of this problem will be feet per radians. Um, so, let's, uh, let's see the setup here. We have a ladder resting against the wall. So, uh, I'm just simply going to draw that picture. Um, so this um, uh, ladder is 14 feet long. It's uh, resting up against the wall. And um, the angle theta um, is uh, measured from the ladder to the wall. And x is the distance from the uh, bottom of the ladder to the, um, to the corner um, where the wall meets the floor. All right. Um, so... I'm just going to use a trig formula. Um, X is opposite of theta, and 14 feet is the hypotenuse, and the corner of the wall on the ground uh, makes a, a right angle, so I have a right triangle. So a right triangle trig tells me that um, sine theta is X over 14, and um, I'm going to move that 14 over to the other side by multiplying both sides by 14. And now I want to know how fast X is changing with respect to theta. So that's a change in x with respect to a change in theta. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to theta. When I differentiate the sine, I get the cosine. And when I differentiate x with respect to theta, I get dx d theta. And now I want to evaluate that when theta equals pi over 3. If you read the problem, you see there, there's a pi over 3 there at the uh, question mark. Is. That's what we're being asked. So now I'll just plug in um, pi over 3 for theta. So that means I'm going to evaluate the derivative at pi over 3. We have a couple different notations for doing that. As you see, we can use the dx d theta with the vertical bar and set theta equal to pi over 3. Or I could think of um, the change in x with respect to theta as x primed, where the prime indicates that we're differentiating with respect to theta. And um, I can use my own function notation where I plug in a pi over 3. Either way, plug pi over 3 in for cosine and we get 1 half. And that means that the um, rate of change of the x with respect to theta is 7 feet per radian. All right, and that is the problem. Good luck.